Welcome to the O Natural Skin Food Skin Myths Unlocked podcast, the home of the 12-week skin detox. Your host, Tracy Ahern, created this podcast to share from her 20 years of experience as a senior esthetician in her own chain of meta spas. Break away from chemical beauty and let her walk with you on your skin journey. Let's get started. Here is Tracy. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the 12-Week Skin Detox Challenge. I'm your host, Tracy, founder of O Natural Skin Food. Can you believe we're already on week eight? You're two-thirds of the way done. How's your skin feeling, and how are you feeling? By now, your skin should be much better than when you started. You've built up a healthy skin microbiome, taking time to nourish yourself from the inside out, and being mindful about slowing down. That's a lot of progress. We're going to continue to build on that progress this week by learning all about why less is more. Have you ever overeaten your favorite food? We probably all have. When we taste something wonderful, we just want more and more. But when we overindulge, we end up feeling ill and not enjoying it nearly as much. Not as much as if we had savored a more reasonable amount. The same is true for your skincare. Even if you're using wonderful all-natural products like those in our own natural skin food range, applying excessive amounts won't give you the extra benefits and may cause harm instead. It's common knowledge that the core of all good skincare routines are cleansing, toning, and moisturize. But do you know how much you should use for healthier skin? At O Natural Skin Food, our goal is to make your skin the best it can be while ensuring you use it as little as possible. This means we formulate our products to be extremely effective, affordable and minimize waste. This week we'll focus on being gentle to ourselves and to the earth we all share by not wasting what we don't need. Let's talk about six simple steps that you can take to encourage conscious thinking and embrace the idea that less is more. Step one, make time for self-care every day. Ladies, we are always talking about taking care of someone else. It's time you look after yourself too. I want you to make self-care a cornerstone of your daily routine. Ensure that you're building an opportunity to look after yourself every single day. Setting aside specific times for your skincare may help. With enough repetition, it will become a habit, just like using our Four Hero products has. Step 2. Reduce the clutter. Every time we create a product, we try to pack in as many simple ingredients as possible so we can truly live up to our less is more philosophy. We also use as little packaging as possible. This week, channel your inner Marie Kondo and clear out that bathroom cupboard. If you have unopened products, you can always pass them on to someone else who can use them or donate them to an organization like your local women's shelter. And remember, you don't need to keep extras on hand because it's easy to take own natural skin food wherever you go. Just think of all the space you'll free up. Step three. Use a hazelnut amount of cleanser. Cleanser is a vital part of your skincare routine because it rids your skin of excess oils and bacteria. It also helps remove makeup. You should cleanse both morning and evening, but don't overapply the creamy solution. You really only need a hazelnut sized amount. If you overdo your Remove Gentle Facial Cleanser, your skin could become tight, dry, and prone to surface irritation. That's because your skin could be stripped of all of its natural oils. Think of your skincare products the way you think of medicine. They're designed for specific doses, if you will, and exceeding that amount is not a good idea. Using the correct amount will allow your cleanser to do its job properly and help maintain your natural pH balance. Plus, your product will last longer. Step 4. Just a few sprays to tone. 
Toners are unsung heroes because they maintain your skin's pH balance, which in turn prevents breakouts, skin irritation and dryness. Your Prepare Spray-On Brightening Lotion also softens your epidermis or outer layers of your skin, so it can better absorb your AM Day Serum or subsequent moisturizers. The perfect amount of Prepare is to use a mere three to four sprays, apply to your fingers and then gently pat it onto your skin. Rub any excess into your hands. Step five, go for a pea-sized squeeze of serum. Natural serums are commonly overused because we all tend to think of more is better, especially because serums have a reputation for working wonders on the skin and they're very beneficial. When used correctly, serums hydrate your skin, boost collagen production and stimulate cell rejuvenation. But you only need a pea-sized amount. If you apply more serum than you need, your skin won't necessarily absorb it. Instead, it could sit on the surface of your skin, possibly re- resulting in breakouts and a dull, undernourished appearance. Step 6. Use a blueberry-sized bit of night cream moisturizer. Like serum, your skin will only absorb as much moisturizer as it needs. Any excess will stay on the surface of your skin, clogging your pores and preventing your skin from breathing. Over-applying night moisturizer may lead to breakouts and disrupt the healthy production of sebum, which protects your skin and wards off infection. It can also cause your skin to become dependent on creams for moisture rather than nourishing itself from the inside out. Facial moisturizers are highly concentrated, so you don't need as much as you think. A blueberry-sized amount is enough for your entire face, and no matter your skin type, you don't need to moisturize more than twice a day. This week, try to be more intentional about how much product you're using. Our products are packed with high-quality ingredients, so a little really does go a long way. Speaking of high-quality ingredients, our hero ingredient this week is New Zealand Kanuka honey. Kanuka honey is a close relative of Manuka honey, but it's scarcer and contains more beneficial compounds called AGPs or agabenglactinins, I always get that word wrong, than any other New Zealand honey. AGPs aid in the repair of inflammatory conditions like acne, eczema, rosacea and cold sores. Additionally, Kanuka honey may be able to stimulate an immune system response to help your body fight and ward off infection. Unlike synthetic bleach-based treatments which tend to dry the skin. Kanuka honey is naturally moisturizing and leaves the skin in better condition. This relatively new skincare ingredient is currently being studied in many clinical trials with promising results. Intrigued? You can try Kanuka honey in our on-the-spot moisturizer. It's calming on the skin, effective and really good at controlling breakouts or acne. Well, that's it for this episode, ladies. I've enjoyed spending time with you again and can't wait for next week when we'll discuss revitalizing your skin from within. Until next time, take care, everyone. Thanks for listening to the Au Natural Skin Food Skin Myths Unlocked podcast. Don't go it alone. Tracy is here to help you detox from chemical beauty and support your journey. Learn more and get in touch via the website at www.onaturalskinfood.com. And join us again next week for more help for your skincare journey.